Hey everyone, welcome back to Wealthy Coin. Shima Inu Coin will be shut down by the U.S. Congress on charges of money laundering. News about SHIBs. Travala.com just tweeted that Shiba Inu can be used as a payment method. Shiba Inu can now be used as a form of payment for a trip to Vietnam on the world's largest blockchain-based travel booking site. As reported by Travala, people who own Shiba Inus can now book any activity they want at Phu Quoc. Phu Quoc is the best place in Vietnam for water sports. Pulling on events like kayaking, scuba diving, snorkeling, sailing, and more. With this new feature from Travala, Shifolders can also buy any of the 3 million travel products on Travala.com. Travala is eagerly pushing Shiba Inu as a valid method of payment. Remember that Travala added support for Shiba Inus in December 2021. In November of last year, Travala said that Shiba Inu owners could pay for bookings at W Hotels, a five-star hotel in Dubai. In November, the Shiba Inu and Travala teams also agreed to work together. Members of the ship community got a special deal through the agreement. People who are interested in Shiba Inus were asked to create an account on Travala in exchange for a $25 payment. Shiba Inu owners could use the free credit to book more than 3 million rooms, flights, and other services that are related to travel. Thousands of customers around the world trust us as their first choice for an online travel service. Travala keeps adding more crypto-related features. Travala lets travelers choose from the most amazing places to stay in the world, such as hotels, apartments, houses, hostels, and even five-star luxury resorts. At the moment, Travala.com has more than 2.2 million properties in over 90,124 destinations in 230 countries and territories. The prices are up to 40% lower than those on other big travel booking websites. Shiba Inus are being used more and more, especially how well it works as a payment method. Top cryptocurrency payment processors like BitPay and Binance Pay are interested in this growing number of Shiba users. Both providers have been adding services that let businesses take Shiba Inu payments. People who work for some companies are paid in SHIB tokens. There are also well-known charities that will accept gifts from Shiba Inu owners. Some others are real estate investors, e-commerce companies. Shiba Inus can also be used as payment at stores and other places. Shiba Inu has grown to 40% of the market in 2023, a time when many coins are struggling to stay alive. Many businesses plan to accept Shiba Inus as payment in 2023 because they are becoming more and more famous. Shiba Inu can now be used as cash at the American store Nordstrom. Flexa, the world leader in digital payments, said that Shib can now be used to buy a range of men's, women's, and children's clothes. Clothes, shoes, handbags, jewelry, and other things. Second on the list of the top five places to pay with Shiba Inu is here. You can use Shiba Inu to buy pets like dogs, cats, birds, and some live small animals. Petco also gives services for veterinary care and dog training. It takes Shiba Inu and other cryptocurrencies through Flexa, just like Nordstrom. Rock & Block is a blockchain technology company whose founders have held top roles at top fintech and blockchain companies like IBM, Microsoft, Ernst & Young, and more. Rock and Block takes Shiba Inu and other cryptocurrencies as payment for its great committed services. The Carolina Hurricanes are the newest team in the National Hockey League to accept cryptocurrency. Records show that in their 35-year history, the Khan have won 15 division wins and 5 Eastern Conference titles. SHIB can be used to buy Khan gear by people who like sports and cryptocurrencies. The Sacramento Kings and the Dallas Mavericks are two other NBA teams that accept Shiba Inus as payment. Apex is a US-based company that stands out by offering great customer service, the best product quality and choices, and more. This business has its main office in Oklahoma, USA, and it has been around since 2000. The Shiba Inu community is still very excited about the release of Shibarium, the Layer 2 technology. There have been rumors that the launch will happen on Valentine's Day, February 14, but there is still no official date put on it. The SHIB army needs to make a big choice soon because the start is coming up quickly. Right now, the official Shiba Inu Twitter account is asking people to vote for a motto for the Metaverse project, which is being called SHIB the Metaverse. The slogan will be used in marketing efforts in the future, which will have an effect on how well the project does. You can vote on three phrases. Let your dreams and a new day come true, and build with the group. Over 11,505 people in the community voted on the ideas. Of those who voted, 
46.1% chose Unleash a New Tomorrow and 31.6% chose Unleash Your Dreams. There was still time to vote, so the outcome could change in favor of one of the other two phrases. Yesterday, the head developer for Shiba gave another hint about the launch of Shibarium, which will set the stage for the metaverse. Shaitoshi Kusama changed the place in his Twitter name to Situation Room. This word refers to a room in a government or agency building where the most important people talk about important issues and decide what to do next. The Shib Army thinks this means Kusama is going over whether to release the test version of Shibarium soon. Not long ago, an unofficial Twitter account saying it was the decentralized exchange ShibaSwap said it had made an ETH domain called Shaitoshi. Eth, named after the lead Shiba in Yukoda. Violic. Eth is the domain name of Ethereum co-founder Violic Buterin. Shiba in Yu the lead coder, will get his own Ethereum domain name. Now, the unknown person is selling Shaitoshi. F for 500 ETH, which on OpenSea is equal to about $790,000. It says that the sale will go on until April 30, 2023. The seller says they will buy bone tokens with the money. It's still not clear if Shaitoshi Kusama will buy the name. Though, it said that the fake ShibaSwap account hoped Shaitoshi would buy the name before an Ethereum whale could do it faster. Kusama hasn't replied to the tweets yet. While the SHIB group has harshly criticized the move, in the last 24 hours, the SHIB price went up by a small amount, to 0.2%. It was worth 1,165 cents. After going up as much as 61% since January 1, the price is now staying between 11 cents and 13 cents. For SHIB bulls, it would be very important to break above the support zone around 13 cents. But the farm meeting tomorrow will be very important in figuring out if the bulls will be able to break through support. For Fed Chair Jerome Powell, who is a hawk, SHIB buyers should keep an eye on the support at 11 cents. Officials from the U.S. Justice Department and Treasury Department said at a news conference in Washington, D.C. on Wednesday that Pizzlato Limited was charged with money laundering and that its founder had been arrested in Miami. Pizzlato, a platform based in Hong Kong, has been shut down and its founder, Anatoly Lake Kainov, was arrested in the United States. At the news conference, Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco talked about steps that will stop Bitslado from having business with Russian-linked criminals. She talked about how the Federal Bureau of Investigation, French officials, and the U.S. Treasury Department worked together to stop the crime and said they messed up a busy part of the criminal ecosystem. The Financial Crimes Enforcement Network of the Treasury Finson officially named the company a main money laundering concern. This is one of the harshest punishments the government can use to fight crime because it usually cuts a company off from the global financial system. The name pretty much makes the exchange a pariah around the world. Wally Adamo, Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, said, Lake Kainov is a Russian citizen who lives in China and owns most of Pitslado. He was going to be tried in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Florida on Wednesday after being arrested. Officials from the Justice Department say that the little-known cryptocurrency exchange held wallets of criminals who bought and sold illegal